Slave Play, the Broadway debut of playwright Jeremy O'Harris, takes a provocative look at race, gender, and sexuality in 21st century America with humor and unforgettable intensity. We're here on opening night to find out more about the play that truly has Broadway buzzing. Jeremy has this way of writing language, like naturally. It's all there, and if you just follow that, like there's something really satisfying that is unlocked. It's got a very specific point of view for each character. Even the structure of how he lays it out on the page, it helped me to figure out how my character thinks. As actors, we feel like we're working out all of our muscles in order to execute the text. If you align yourself with brave people, there's the chance for brave work to happen consistently. I'm just excited that this could maybe be a turning point to bring us back to something that Broadway was a long time ago that I think we've lost. We stand on the shoulders of like so many legends and like amazing artists who have been pushing for black, queer, brown work, women's work. Like far too long people have been banging down the door and we're the ones who get to walk through it right now. And it's also about taking a look at the origins of this country and that, that open wound that still is not healed and that still uh, needs an examination, not only from uh, audiences within the theater, but the conversation can continue beyond when you leave the theater. I've never seen a show where people actively talk in front of the marquee about what they experience and you see Twitter feeds of people talking on trains and at cafes and you don't get that with a lot of productions and the fact that this conversation is continuing to happen is, is remarkable. We're at a time in our country where we just need to be learning about how to have conversations and this play is deeply about listening and even in an uncomfortable moment, how do you show up to listen to the person who's across from you? Thank you.